Hello, my name is Jamie Quinn and I'm the Assistant Director at Abbotts Creek Community Center with the City of Raleigh Parks, Recreation and Cultural Resources Department. I'm excited to bring you this science experiment today. Today what we're going to be doing is tornado in a bottle or tornado in a glass. Uh, so to do this, you're going to need a clear bottle or glass, something you can see through and something that's tall enough that you can get some movement in it. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of dish soap and then I've got glitter to help you be able to see it, but you absolutely do not have to have this. It's completely optional, just make it a little bit easier for you to see this at home. Uh, so tornadoes are formed when warm, damp air is moving in one direction and it's met in the other direction by cool air uh, causing it to spin. Uh, so the combination of those two things are what forms tornadoes or hurricanes uh, in general. So uh, to do this experiment, you're going to take your bottle and you're going to take your dish soap. You're just going to need to put a few drops in there. And then you're going to take your glitter, put a little bit of that in there. And then you're going to take it and you're going to cause it to uh, move in a circular motion. So this is going to cause the water on the outside of the bottle to move at a faster speed than the water inside the bottle, which is what creates that tornado type spin. So you can see it there in the bottle with the glitter moving around it. Uh, so loosely, that's how you make a tornado in a bottle. Pretty cool little experiment that you can do at home with uh, stuff that you've got in your house. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in with me today, and I look forward to seeing you back at Abbott's Creek and in our parks very soon. Uh, be safe out there.